Hey guys, look at this! It's the Jurassic World excavation kit. Um, picked this up at Poundland for a quid, obviously. Um, I've opened it and had a bit of a scrape at it. You're supposed to get this inside. Um, I don't quite know um, like what's it going to be like, if it's going to be like that or if it's just going to be a piece. Because I got one once and it was a piece of plastic with a fossil moulded onto it. And it was a little disappointing. And, you know, but it is officially licensed. I mean, it's got the logo there, it's got the T-Rex there, so it must be, you know, um, it must be legit. Anyway, let's open it. Already, well, let's open it again. Just remove that out to the side. Uh, what you get, and now these tools will have tape on them, but you get two of these. Well, one each, actually. Let's get focus in there. See, it's got like some perforated lines on it, and then you've got this one here. They're made out of a decent plastic, actually. They're quite like I can't even bend that properly. And then you get this with the egg. Take a look at the egg, some nice detail on it. You've got a little dinosaur molded in. It's not really that stuff that comes off on your fingers, it's very smooth. And if I drop it, it's um. Like, if I just drop it here, it's not really cracking. These cracks are sculpted into it. So, um, let's, uh, you know, so you could get one of these and technically paint it if you want. <sighs> Jesus, camera. There we go. Uh, again, you know, and really what you just do... Is you just do this, and as you can probably see, it's making a god awful mess. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut here, dig it all out, and I'll show you what we get. So, after digging it out, um, yeah, it's these are the pieces. This thing is very tiny, um. That's probably what my biggest fear was with this. And if you're wondering why there's other tools, because I because the tools that they gave us were not the greatest. So I used my knife, pliers, clippers, and screwdriver. Screwdriver just to jag up holes in it and whatnot. And it made a god awful mess. So let's put this thing together and see what we have. Okay, so you got your two body halves. Uh, my thing's going to fall over. And they just... I think they, yeah, they pegged together. You got your, your leg. Which, what's sad and is inaccurate is it didn't even have the pelvis moulded on. It just has it moulded on the side of the legs, which is a little bit inaccurate. Uh, just give me a second to get it to stand. I'm using a can of coke and I've nearly run out. Also, we have the Indominus Rex and Godzilla watching. Well, so also, just, just pretend that they're there. They're just there for the sake of it, and Godzilla fall, fell over. There we go, stood up. If, here it is. Fall over. Here we go. You're probably wondering, what's that little nick there? That one covers because of my knife. This is what you get. This is all your hard work. <clears throat> it's good and bad. It's good because it's an, it's an actual looking fossil. So it's an actual skeleton of a dinosaur. Which is nice. But here's the thing. This is of a T-Rex. It's too small. I mean, if I put it there, for one thing, it can't it can't even stand. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, 
I actually got it to stand. So yeah, here it is. Um, you do get some sculpting of skull lines and holes. This thing really needs cleaning up. That's not sticking in properly. Uh, you've got articulation, ironically for something of this size, which is swivel at the legs. And that's it. And I accidentally clipped the foot off, uh, so I had to glue it back on. Yeah. Uh, I suppose you could get it doing that. I don't know. Uh, I feel a little bit... This is very anticlimactic. Um, don't get me wrong. I like it. But I was expecting something a little bit better. Uh, I'm still going to keep this, mind you. I'm not going to take my frustration out and smash it with a hammer. I don't do that. Uh, I'm not evil. <laughs> but this... We'll just say it's a baby dinosaur. A baby dinosaur skeleton, because I'm not convinced this is supposed to be an adult dinosaur. Yeah, we'll just say it's a baby one. Um, with a couple of problems. Let's have a just focus there again. Yeah, yeah, it stands. Uh, size and scale with the Indominus Rex. She now has metal feet. Yeah. Uh, size and scale with Godzilla. Actually, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it, Godzilla's actually in scale with something. <laughs> At least I think. Because uh, the T-Rex is pretty big. This thing is, ironically enough, in scale with Gujira. I think. I'm not sure. I might be wrong on that. But this is a pretty close scale if it is. Because Godzilla's pretty big. And the person... Alright, so let's say... That is a T-Rex. A person will come up to at least here on the T-Rex. This is, of course, the Indominus. And that would be very tiny... So Godzilla is pretty much in scale with this. Um, let's move the Indominus out of the way. Also, it's got metal parts on the tail. And the feet are well, cast to keep it make it better. So it means that the feet, the head, little feet, <laughs> means that the... God, I can't phrase my words today. I have a lot of sugar and I went hyper. So it basically means that this, the, 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 T, the Indominus Rex is now, be stands better. That's what I was trying to say. He suffers from droopy tail, though. Um, yeah, uh, I, I'm actually quite surprised. Actually, that's maybe a lot happier now that this is actually in the scale of Gojira. Um, <laughs> what can I say? I wasn't expecting it. Um, if you want to know where to find this kit, well, kit, I... Don't know what you'd call it, really. Um, excavation. Yeah, excavation kit. That's what it said in the box. Because I've still still got the box right here. Which had some nice detail on it. Which, it was kind of a shame to break it up, really. Because I did appreciate the sculpting that went into the egg. Um, it is official merchandise. Cause it's got all the logos and all that. Um, you know. And it didn't look fake in any way. So, you know, that is a good thing. Uh, but... What I think my biggest problem is, is the fact that it's very small, but it's in scale with Godzilla, so I can't complain. It's in scale with Godzilla, because Godzilla needs to be in scale with something. I mean, even if he is in scale with uh, Jaeger from Pacific Rim, I mean, they're both... I mean, Godzilla is a kaiju, which is Japanese for giant monster, in case anyone didn't know. So, you know, um... Yeah, uh, very anticlimactic. Not what I was expecting, in a good and bad way, because I wasn't expecting it to be in scale with Godzilla. As I think it's slightly bit bigger, I think it should at least be up to here. Or maybe less. But hey, it's the closest thing you're getting in scale with Godzilla that's actually small. So, what am I going to give this? Well, you know what, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. 
because it's nicely sculpted. It's it's got it's got articulation as well, which is surprising because you know. And when you take it out, it's actually all fully assembled. Uh, but I chose to pull it apart just to show you guys what it looked like. And you know, it's got some decent. It's got some pretty decent detail on it. Excuse me for something of this size. And you know, and it's it's small, but that's the, o the only problems I have with it. Uh, it's incredibly small, which means it could be pretty lost pretty easily. And considering that the egg is nearly the size of your fist, it would be nice to get something a little bit bigger. But hey, at least we get a fossil. So, I'm not going to complain anymore because, you know, it's kind of cute actually. <laughs> oh god, it's like a little baby raptor really. It's got long arms, but you know, it's a T-Rex because it has a T-Rex feet. So, I've been the Archangel, uh, reviewing the Jurassic World Poundland Egg Fossil Excavation Kit. I that actually looks different than that. It looks similar. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I should review one of these two, really. I might do. I'm into Japanese monster stuff, by all means. Uh, oops, finger in the way. Uh, but yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe, and Jurassic Collectibles if you're watching this. You're an awesome guy, and I think you should go pick one of these up because I know you like your dinosaur stuff. That's one of the reasons why I reviewed it, actually, hoping that you were watching it now. And you know, when I pick it up, and if you can't find it, well, give me an order and I'll send you one because it's only a quid. I can afford plenty more. I've got like, you know, plenty of cash at the moment, so I can buy hundreds. Not that I'm going to do so because these things are a pain in the bum bum to get out of them eggs. Let me tell you right now, I will buy one more and that will be sent to Jurassic Collectibles, unless he finds his own. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!